Hi, John from Dag Dynamics. Today we'll be showing you how to properly aim your headlights on your vehicle. Anytime you replace the headlight bulbs or the entire housing, it's a great idea to re-aim your lights. Improperly aimed lights won't provide as much illumination on the road, or worse, they could blind oncoming drivers, and you don't want to be that guy. So, let's go over the process to aim a light yourself. We'll be following guidance provided by DOT, so if you're outside of the US, you'll want to check your local requirements. It's also a great idea to check your owner's manual or installation guide to locate any adjustments or any additional information. Let's get started. First, we'll want to make sure the vehicle is on level ground, the tires are properly inflated, and any additional weight that's not normally inside of the vehicle is removed. Then we can park the vehicle 25 feet away from a wall or garage door. With your vehicle squared up, see how tall your headlights are. Using a measuring tape, measure from the ground up to the center of your headlamp or look for an aiming reference dot that may be molded into the lens. You'll usually see an aiming mark like this if your headlights have more than one projector inside. Using that same reference point, measure from the center of each headlamp. When you know the height from the ground to the aiming mark or the center of the headlamp and the distance between the center of each headlamp, make a note. We'll be using that in just a second. While we're looking at the headlight, look for a marking that either says VOL or VOR. This should be molded along with other information on top or bottom of the lens. This tells you if the aiming should be VOL, Visual Optical Aligned Left, or VOR, Visual Optical Aligned Right. All modern headlights will have these marks. If you don't see it, check your owner's manual as you may need to use an alternative aiming method. Now we're gonna head to the wall. Centered with our vehicle, we're gonna place a piece of horizontal tape to mark our height. This should be the height of your headlights as you just measured. DOT states that vehicles that have a headlight center above 36 inches, you should aim two inches below that center measurement. Since our Jeep measures at 42 inches, we'll be placing our tape at the 40 inch mark. Then, using the distance we measure between the center of each headlight, put a piece of tape in front of each lamp. Now it's time to start aiming. Flip on your low beams and see where they line up. If you have reflector headlights, the beam pattern should have a cutoff at the top. If you have projector headlights, you should have a cutoff, but with a small step. Depending on your headlight, you may need a tool to assist with this. In most cases, a long Phillips head screwdriver will do. For Diode Dynamics headlights, we include an additional adjustment key that can easily be kept in the glove box. Now, you may need to pull back the fender to reach the adjusters as it's a little bit tight, and if you have any questions, refer to the instructions or manual so you know to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise to raise or lower the beam pattern. If your headlights have VOR markings, like our Jeep headlights here, the aiming process is simple. Using the adjustment mechanism, move the beam pattern so the right side of the beam pattern is at the same height as your tape. If your lights have a VOL marking, we'll actually be aiming the beam pattern according to the left side. In this case, we'll be dropping the left side beam pattern three inches below our tape line. Now that right side, you'll see the step, it might go right above the line, but that's okay. One common mistake is to stack the left and right beam pattern so the left side is lower than the right side. This is not correct. You want to make sure both beam patterns hit the tape at the same point. Now, some vehicles will be equipped with horizontal beam adjustment, although this won't be the case for all headlights. If you do have horizontal beam adjustment, we'll want to square the vehicle up with the wall and then take the distance measured from the center of each headlamp and make sure the beam pattern is the same distance apart on the wall. Basically, we just want the light to be shining parallel. And there you have it. With their headlights properly aimed, you're ready to hit the road. We hope this video has been helpful, and if you're interested in learning how to properly aim your fog lights while you're at it, be sure to check out the video linked in the description below. If you have any additional questions about aiming your vehicle's lights, we'll be happy to help. If you're looking to pick up a pair of our Elite Series LED headlights for your JL or JT or any of our other products, visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.